I went ahead and quickly drilled up this extra tip piece here on the bottom of the vertical. And I'm going to go ahead and put the skin on and start drilling up the holes and getting it ready to uh, dimple dye for the outside of the skin. I have the first half of the skin on, now comes the second half. This is always a scary part, so I always feel like I'm going to break the skin or bend it too hard and crease it, uh, but I'll go ahead and give it a whirl. Here I have it totally clecoed up in the smaller of the two cleco sizes, and I'm going to go ahead and start drilling up. I also have to measure out where the hinge is going to go uh, for the elevator. I have the hinge sitting here so I can measure it up properly. It needs to be 29 sections and here's where it ends which means I need to cut this part right here and it has to be one inch from the top and fits properly. I have all the holes drilled up to, one, to 0.125 except for this side which is where I'm putting the actual uh, hinge in. So I am slowly drilling them up to the 097 first with the actual hinge in place and I left the, um, the hinge pin itself in to make sure it doesn't get too wonky and then I'll go ahead and pull the thing apart and work on it from there. I have it all drilled up to 125 now. Um, I decided, I may be wrong here but I'll find out later, um, this hinge pin is supposed to line up, line up with the edge of the metal right here. But when I looked at the hinge itself, it would not give me enough room to dimple dye it for, um, for putting this, the, the flush Clico, uh, flush rivets in. So I went ahead and I moved out a little bit further, but I plan on putting um, speed tape over the side of this anyway, so hopefully it's not going to affect it too much. Uh, it still has incredible strength, actually more strength where the, the holes are now. It just will not be as, as close, the rudder will not be as close to the vertical, but I don't think that will be a problem. But I'm going to go ahead and keep cleaning up and go up from there. It's been about an hour and a half since I last said anything. I uh, deburred the outside and inside of this part, and I deburred the outsides of both of this part. So now I have to go back and do all the interior uh, sides, which is much more difficult because you have to get um, uh, a 90 degree deburring tool, or you just have to sit there by hand and tor turn them all out. But that's what I have left to do on this part right now. And then I have to figure out what I want to do for my um, my nav light up here on top of the fiberglass. So I need to drill a hole and run wire through that first before I uh, attach the skin. Otherwise, it'll be really difficult to do later. Hey everyone, it's a couple days later. I went ahead and finished deburring everything, and I've gone through and dimple dyed uh, all these parts here, or all these holes here, and all of the. Um, the holes of the skin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach one of the sides and then continue uh, getting it ready to attach permanently. I have it already clicked up. I'm going to go ahead and flush rivet this section and then I'm going to go ahead and buy the, um, the wire to run the position lights in it and I'll uh, rivet the next section after I have the wire run through. All right, got the side riveted and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out how much wire I need and go ahead and order it. I think I'm going to use the uh, Whalen Orion series LED lights for this uh, airplane. Then I got a brochure on it when I was at Oshkosh. And I'll figure out the, the current draw and how long the wire has to be and, and what thickness it has to be. But that's it for now. Thanks.